Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer, and this week we're going to cover the climax. Yeah, it's, it's a funny name. And you know, there's probably a couple reasons for that, but we won't think too deep into them. This drink is going to have some amaretto. It's like an almond, nutty, Italian, uh, sweet, kind of sweet drink. I don't know if it's really sweet. I'm not a huge fan of amaretto, so I can't tell you too much about it. We're going to use some Brave Spirits Valor Vodka, some Cuantro. It's a French orange peelish liqueur, uh, creme de we got creme de banana and creme de coco, so it's going to have a coconut banana mix up, and we're going to use some luscious leaves. These are from uh, they're they're actually created by Art by Chocolate, and you can buy them on DressTheDrink.com. So we're going to use that as our as our final dressing, and something new on the show: heavy cream. There's a couple drinks that call for heavy cream, but not too many, so you can buy a tiny little like eight fluid ounces like this and you can make eight drinks out of it so if you have a party eight drinks buy two if you need 16 drinks do the math uh, so what else we got i think that's it it's a very involved drink not as bad as the mongolian mother effer as we called it but it's it's up there so we probably want to get started it's going to be a half ounce of everything with an ounce of the heavy cream and you're done we're going to put it in a cocktail glass bam so let's get started uh let's go with we'll do the Amaretto first. Why not? Half ounce. Get out of my way, heavy green. Do some creme de banana. Get a little banana flavor going on. Banana action. Let's do the chocolate. This stuff's really good. You don't need a lot to add a lot of flavor to the drink. Vodka, I'm going to guess. Name a drink that doesn't have at least three alcohols that misses vodka. Everybody finds a way to put vodka in it. Maybe just to add alcohol, because at this point, a tasteless alcohol mixed with all these alcohols, still a tasteless alcohol. Finish up with some Cuantro. Thanks to those who got me to stop saying Cointro. It looks like Cointro. Cointro. There you go. Let's do our one ounce of heavy cream. All this goes in before shaking. Might seem like a lot. Probably is a lot. Not really healthy for you, but it's got all your vitamins and uh, it's got to be vitamins in here, right? I don't know what's really in there. I'm not going to look. We're making a cocktail. Who cares? Got our ice. Sorry. We're going to ice this guy up good because you want to put it into a chilled cocktail glass. want a little uh, slippage like last time. Almost again. Not good. All right. Pour that in there. It's going to be white because the cream is going to win out in this battle of alcohols. It's also going to add a thick consistency, which is actually kind of cool. I picked white. They have pink. They have chocolate. I figured it smells like Easter. Just like that, you know those big Easter bunnies? But it goes in our alcohol. There you go. That's the climax. A little heavy cream. A little different. It has the consistency of like a white Russian but not the taste. There's a lot going on here. You get a slight hint of banana. Of course, the cream smooths it out, gives it the dairy taste and texture. Uh, the amaretto, not, I don't really taste the amaretto too much. A little nutty, but not much. Basically, everything works well together. It's, to me, it's like a chocolate banana surprise. Little hints of 
orange peel, little nut. I would say this is like a white chocolate. Like if you were to make, get a white chocolate candy bar or something like that. Which goes good with the, the luscious leaves. So there you are. That is the climax. I'm Derek Schomer. We're teaching you how to drink.